reason that you were invited oh, on this really? program was to talk about Donald Trump this weekend meeting with known anti-Semites and whether you condemn it as someone who worked for the administration and who is Jewish. That's what this story is about. That's what we. That's what you're here oh, to talk I see, about. Don. So, so, so if, if if there's an answer that you want from me, uh, why don't you tell me what that answer would be? And I and. Uh, that answer would be, that answer would be one of not what about ism. Welcome back, everyone. If you're looking for a good, brutal schooling of an increasingly Orwellian Don Lemon, then you've come to the right place. Plus, I'm going to ask the question, where does Don Lemon get off lecturing anyone about anti-Semitism or racism as if he's some kind of high priest or minister of truth? But first, don't you think it's time to prepare? just in case. Friends, temperatures aren't the only things rising. Gasoline prices, food prices, tensions throughout society, global conflicts, supply chain breakdown, you name it. Experts say the looming global food crisis will be worse than ever. What should you do? Go to preparewithdronetech.com and get your long-term emergency food storage from My Patriot Supply while you still can. My Patriot Supply is America's largest preparedness company with millions of satisfied customers, me included. Act quickly and save $150 on a three-month emergency food kit. These kits provide breakfast, lunch, dinners, drinks, snacks, totaling over 2,000 calories a day. So go to preparewithdronetech.com and save $150 on your three-month food kit. That's preparewithdronetech.com. Get your family's emergency food while there's still time. Go to preparewithdronetech.com. Joining us now is Len Kurkowski. He is a former Deputy Assistant Secretary of State in the Trump administration, and he is Jewish. You know, I, I, I can tell an anti-Semite when I hear one, uh, and I can tell you with confidence that President Trump is not an anti-Semite. He also has this very strong record on issues uh, that concern the Jewish community. I mean, we can start with any number of things like uh, making it tougher to discriminate against Jewish students and college campuses. Okay, sir, I understand that, but uh, can we talk about Nick Fuentes, please? Of course, Lemon isn't interested in facts that go against the narrative that he's trying to build right now. I mean, that's always the question I have when these accusations start flying. What examples do they have against Trump of being anti-Semitic or racist? I've been keeping up with this for a long time, and as far as I know, it's always lies. From the false claim he called neo-Nazis fine people, to the claim that he never condemned the KKK or white supremacists, even though he did it endlessly before and throughout his presidency. Let's just let's just call Nick Fuentes for who he is. He's an anti-Semite. He's repulsive. His views are disgusting, and uh, no no one of any substance should give him any forum. It's frankly beneath President Trump to meet with him, of I, course. Okay, so you, you were saying it was wrong for him to meet with him. Well, you know, again, he didn't know he was coming, but it's, it's never a good idea to give anti-Semites a, a forum. And what about Kanye West? He knew Kanye West was coming. Kanye West has certainly made many anti-Semitic outbursts and statements, especially as recently as a, a few weeks ago. Don Lemon, who's friends with Nick Cannon, who thinks white and Jewish people are soulless animals. But for some reason, you defend as not racist, even though he clearly was. Funny point about that Nick Cannon incident. While he did say crazy things about both Jewish and white people, the media only really seemed to care about the anti-Semitic comments. And that's all he needed to apologize for, apparently. Seriously, every story about his apology only references the anti-Semitic comments. But yes, go on, Inquisitor Lemon. Uh, yeah, I think Kanye West uh, sounds a lot like Louis Farrakhan and, uh, uh, you know, President Trump. I wish he wouldn't have met with either one of them, frankly. You know, if we're going to make Trump repudiate uh, Kanye or, or a sidekick, I think we have to look at uh, anti-Semitism in the halls of Congress from uh, Rashida Tlaib, from Ilan Omar, from AOC, from the Rashida entire Tlaib, Hamas and, caucus. Uh, they are not president of the look, United we States. We have to look at the mainstream. Sir, of, they're not of, the president of, of the United States. It, he's campuses. a former president of the United States. It's and this is not what about ism. He met with an anti-Semite. 
So can we stick to the former president and not do what about ism? Anytime a leftist or especially a Democrat state propagandist drops the word what about ism, you know that they just got caught being a hypocritical hack and have no response that won't demonstrate otherwise. What about ism is just another word in their long list of weaponized words that they use to avoid debate, or in this case, to avoid dealing with their completely inconsistent partisan double standards. Yes, Democrats like Omar and Tlaib have made anti-Semitic statements. Beyond that, several high-ranking Democrats were called out by Jewish groups for ties to Louis Farrakhan, a notorious anti-Semite. Even their Republican hero, Liz Cheney, came out against Democrats for their ties to anti-Semitism. What do you think Lemon's take on it was? And so, um, Green's, uh, some of her defenders like to hold this up, right? They accuse you of saying things that are just as bad as Green. That's their accusation. Back in 2009, you faced bipartisan backlash. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Wrong, 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 you're wrong. You faced bipartisan backlash for uh, comments that were deemed anti-Semitic, including saying that Israel uh, has hypnotized the world. You apologized. Oh, it's ludicrous. Uh, I mean, it, it, it's it's not even something worth uh, addressing. That's it. No hardcore grilling or attempt to connect this to the Democrats or to anti-Semitism at large. None of what we're seeing in regards to this former president. So can we stick to the former president and not do what about ism? It sounds like you're making excuses for him and there's no excuse for well, bad behavior. Don, there's Don, no excuse if, for anti-Semitism. Don, Don, I would, I, I would, I would appreciate if you didn't put words on my mouth. And I'm asking you if you else. entertain, do you condemn him for entertaining and meeting with anti-Semites? It's a very simple question. Well, I'm trying to give you an answer that it's a uh, yes I wish or no. you would have met with him. It's a yes or no. Uh, I didn't realize I was on a witness stand here, Don. He should not have met with Kanye West and a sidekick. What I'm also trying to point out, Don, is that it behooves you and uh, you know CNN and every other press outlet to call it out when you see it, especially when it comes in the halls of Congress, especially when every Democratic presidential hopeful goes and I kisses think, the ring listen, of Al sir, Sharpton. I, um, you know, if you're going to make me, go, uh, you know, do a yes or no with you, yes or no should Ilhan Omar be condemned? Yes or no should Rashida Tlaib be condemned? This is not Tlaib about Omar or Tlaib. Yes or this no is not. should this is not about President them. Obama condemn Louis Farrakhan? It's not about Farrakhan President Obama. And Jeremiah Wright. Yes this or no, This is not Don? about Jeremiah Wright. This is not, this is about Donald Trump and Nick Fuentes. Well, well what, why, why don't you want to talk about the problem of anti Because they're not meeting with why them at their want, homes. They're not meeting with anti Semites. They're, they're not meeting with anti Semites. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Because they're not meeting with them at their homes. They're not meeting with anti Semites. They're not meeting with anti Semites. And the reason that you were invited oh, on this really? program was to talk about Donald Trump this weekend meeting with known anti-Semites and whether you condemn it as someone who worked for the administration and who is Jewish. That's what this story is about. That's what we, that's what you're here oh, to talk I see about. So, so it's never about them. That's the whole point. It's an inconsistent partisan standard that is only used against Republicans in bad faith. So if, if, if there's an answer that you want from me, uh, why don't you tell me what that answer would be? And I, and, uh, and, that answer you know, would be, that answer would be one of not what about ism. It would be one to directly address the situation at hand. Was it wrong to meet with him? Don, the it, answer is yes, it was wrong to meet with him. Should he have met with him? The answer is no, he should not have met with him. In many ways, you're already in the authoritarian state. You just don't know it. Many things happens today in U.S. is can be compared to cultural revolution in China. People trying to be unified in certain political correctness, that is very dangerous. So if, if, if there's an answer that you want from me, uh, why don't you tell me what that answer would be? Is the it, answer is yes, it was wrong to meet with him. Should he have met with him? The answer is no, he should not have met with him. Th it's very simple. Don, Don it's, it's very rich when, um, when you're telling somebody who is Jewish, who has experienced anti-Semitism firsthand, who is a grandson of Holocaust survivors, what is an appropriate way to address anti-Semitism? Frankly, it's a little bit insulting. It is insulting for you to, to think that I don't understand bigotry and racism. 
because I understand it. I know you understand it because you regularly display it. You can take all the things that Don Lemon broadly generalizes about white people and compare it to your typical anti-Semitic trope. It's almost like someone repurposed anti-Semitic conspiracy theories for white people. Modern leftism and wokeism is literally just anti-Semitic conspiracy theories repurposed for white people. Just look at these headlines. When you take out white people and switch it with Jewish, it seems to take on a whole new meaning. In fact, Don Lemon sure does look anti-Semitic right here when you swap the word white for Jewish. All hate is bad and nobody should be threatened based on their intrinsic qualities but unless we equally apply these standards then nothing will ever change okay that's all i have to say about that if you enjoyed please hit that like button and leave a comment to let us all know what you think also make sure to keep checking back for more content thanks a lot